What up, Melvin7 here, and today new marquee matchups are out. Now, it's a squad building challenge, of course. Now, the reward, I thought at first it was a 50k pack for completing the set because it says all players pack, but it's not. It's what you get on the web app where you've got 12 items, one of them is rare, four are bronze, four are silver, and four are gold. The other ones you get for completing the four squads, you get two premium bronze packs. So that's the 750 coins one. You get a 5k pack, you get a 12.5k pack, which is 12 gold items, well, mostly gold and one rare. And you get a 25k pack where every single thing is rare and uh, they're a consumable. I'm showing you what I got before I show you the squad building challenges. So you'll be able to see each individual pack opened as I was talking there, but onto the actual squad building challenges. Now the first one is Saudi Arabia versus Australia. If you do not have the coins, I would recommend you go to the bronze packs and just open some 400 coin ones because Saudi Arabian players are very, very common. And the chances are if you open five or six uh, bronze packs, you'll get most of them, if not, because they'll probably get price locked for a few hundred K, but they are very, very easy and you only need six. In the example I'm giving, I'm putting a full squad out, which is probably a bit stupid, but you don't even need that. You could use any bronze players because the team only has to be 60 rated. So as long as you've got a fair few bronzes that are over 60, the chemistry is also 70 as well. So I've got strikers in center mid, I've got left backs in center mid. It doesn't matter what league they're from. You can build a whole Saudi Arabian or a whole Australian team. You don't even need an Australian player in there. They're more expensive, so just focus on the Saudi Arabian players. Build a bronze team, six of them, make sure they're Saudi Arabian, and then you'll get two premium bronze packs. On to the next one, Italy versus Spain. You need three Italian players, three Spanish players, and three rare players. So I've literally de uh, built a squad where I've got three Italians in there, the centre-back, the CDM, and the left mid. And then the rest of the team is Spanish. Again, it doesn't really matter what you use. As long as you've got three rare gold players, they have to be gold, three Spanish players and three Italian players. The chemistry only has to be 80, so you can have players out of position somewhat. Uh, and again, you can use any players you want. There's no league specification, but for the ease of use, I've used Spanish players for the majority and obviously to get the Italian requirement I had to have three Italian players so again a very very easy one and the reward for that is a premium gold pack uh, players pack I think which is the 12.5k pack now moving on to the Colombia versus Uruguay one a bit similar to the Saudi Arabian and the Australian one you can have only one of these nations or you can have both but you only need five players now the team, you could use silver players because the overall rating only has to be 70. Now, one of the things with this is a maximum league of five. Now, with Colombia in particular, Uruguay as well, there are a lot of Colombian players that are gold and Uruguayan that are very cheap that play in the Premier League, uh, the Calcio A, Bundesliga, um, the League One and Liga Santander. So focus on the big leagues. Of course, you could go to the Colombian League. You could go, is there a Uruguayan League? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but you could go to those because obviously there'll be a lot of players there. But you only need five and you only need a minimum team chemistry of 75. So once you've got five Colombian or Uruguayan players, of course, I've got a full team just to show you on the video. Um, it doesn't really matter where they are. Just try and link them up with other cheap players from the leagues that you've got the Colombians or the Uruguayans. It's very, very simplistic and I'm probably making it sound more complicated than it is. But moving on to the final squad in this, which is Netherlands versus France. Now, you only need two Netherlands players, two French players, and you need a minimum of four leagues. So the leagues I would recommend or the Eredivisie for the Dutch players, League One for the French players, and then literally anything you want for the other two. So Premier League, Calcio Liga Santander, it really doesn't matter, purely because it only has to have 70 chemistry again, but you must have four leagues. So make sure you've got four leagues. You could have one player from one league, one from the other, one from the other, and then have seven or eight from the final league, as long as it's got four leagues. And again, minimum team chemistry of 70. So it really doesn't matter about the links too much. 
and uh, you only need two French players or two Netherlands players. So you can, of course, build the full team with French players and then just have two uh, Netherlands players. That's perfectly fine. They are very, very easy, simplistic challenges, but I'm just sh showing you how I did it. In total, well, I've pack pulled all of these players, but in total, I think this comes to around about 15K. So the rewards that you're getting for the packs, they're not amazing, admittedly, but you are getting roughly around 40 to 50K worth of packs. So I would say it's worth a gamble, but only if you've got coins to spare because you're going to have to pay 10 to 15k for these squads. So uh, yeah, I showed you the rewards first. So I've kind of did this back to front, but just so you know what you're going to actually receive in terms of packs, because at first I thought it was a 50k pack and obviously I got a bit tricked with that. But hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.